Hey everyone, I've just watched the 2015 film called Harbinger Down in the US and known as Inanimate in the UK. And I'm giving it five stars. I see a lot of negative reviews for this and I think it's important to know why Inanimate looks like the thing. The only negative reviews I do see of it complain that it seems to be a low-budget rip-off of the thing, and Inanimate was actually made to show the original practical effects used in The Thing 2011, which was that really bad CGI prequel. If you look on YouTube, you can actually find interviews from The Thing 2011 talking about how practical effects were being used and how important the practical effects were to the production. There's also footage released by the practical effects company who worked on The Thing 2011 after they received criticism for the lack of practical effects. They basically went, yeah, this wasn't our fault. Here you go. Here's all the footage we have. You know, these are the practical effects that we made. The behind the scenes footage that you can see of all of the practical effects they made, the effects look amazing and it does show that they did actually make all of the effects for the entire film. And it was just that last minute the studio stepped in and changed it all to CGI. And as we all know, the CGI used looked pretty bad at the time. And if you try and watch that film now, it just looks terrible. Like they've just put sort of old video game type CGI in there. It's not good. <laughs> now, as far as I'm aware, after looking at the interviews and stuff, the practical effects team didn't actually know that CGI had been used to replace all of their work until they actually saw the film at the premiere which sucks. I also understand that there's a full practical cut of the thing 2011 and it's just that the studio decided to release that CGI version because they thought the CGI version looked better which it doesn't, it really doesn't. You can have a look on YouTube, like I say, you can find the behind the scenes footage. I really don't understand why the studio thought that CGI was actually going to be better. So to get back to Inanimate, or Harbinger Down, depending on what you want to call it, it was made to show the practical effects, so it has to be similar to the thing in order to use those practical effects. Which means if you're reviewing it and saying it's bad because it's similar to the thing, you kind of don't understand why it was made. I think it's very important, as I say, to know why it was made. If you've seen the thing, obviously you know what you're going to get with Harbinger Down. It is pretty much the thing on a boat starring Lance Henriksen. And for what it's supposed to be, I think it's fantastic. But I think if I'd watched it without knowing why it was made, without knowing that it was made to showcase those practical effects that were just badly CGI'd over, in the 2011 the thing. I think I'd give it a lower rating. I'd probably have rated it something like 3 out of 5 because it's a great film. Lance Henriksen's fantastic. I don't really know any of the work that the other actors have done apart from this, but they all seem pretty good, you know? But I would have been like, yeah, I'd probably prefer to be watching the 1982 version of the thing because this is very much the thing on a boat. But knowing why it was made and knowing why it has to be similar to the thing really gave me the opportunity to appreciate it more for what it is and for why it was made. 
I absolutely loved seeing the practical effects that should have been in the Thing prequel. And just getting to watch this, I think, you know, if you get to watch this where you see Harbinger Down and you see the Thing prequel, well, actually, watch the Thing as well. Watch the Thing, then watch the prequel, and then watch Harbinger Down, and you will completely understand why the practical effects should have been so important and should have been left in the Thing prequel. So I'm not really recommending Harbinger Down based on the story because, as I said, it's the Thing on a boat. If you want to watch the Thing, watch the 1982 version. You know, it's fantastic, it holds up, those practical effects are still incredible to this day. But if you want to see what could have been with the 2011 prequel to The Thing, if you want to see how amazing that could have looked if it didn't have just really bad CGI, then Harbinger Down is for you. Before I end this video, I do want to say that I'm not against CGI. I'm just against a project like this where I say like this, not like Harbinger Down. When I say like this, I do obviously mean the prequel to the thing. I'm against a project like that where they make all of the practical effects and the practical effects look amazing. And then last minute they rush in with CGI that I don't know if it's just that the CGI was bad if the CGI company just wasn't very good at what they do or if it's just that they did leave it last minute and they ran out of time before they could make it look good. So just to give some examples or to give one very specific example look at Gollum in Lord of the Rings. That is CGI done well. You know I don't have a problem with CGI when it's done well. Look at things like the recent King Kong films, the recent Godzilla films, where that was all CGI, but it looks great. Um, things like Pacific Rim, you know. I love CGI when it's done well. In this instance, it just wasn't done well. So yeah, if you want to see how great the practical effects would have looked in the prequel to the thing, watch Harbinger Down. It's also quite a short film, so you won't regret it. And it's actually included with Amazon Prime in the UK at the moment. So really worth the time. And let's say a big thank you to Loki for being something cute to look at while I've been talking about films. Who's a good boy, Loki? Right then. I'm going to end this video here because it would be a little bit strange to make a film review and then just have however many more minutes of Loki eating his food at the end. But he is adorable. Aren't you, Loki? All right, everyone. Thanks for watching and check out Harbinger Down. See you next time.